Okay, so let's start. So let me power on the lab first so that we can log in and check. Okay, no need, no need to log in. We can check it here itself. So let's start. So yesterday, any 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 queries on yesterday's discussion? What we tested on the thin and th thick progeny? You understood what it is, how it works? Yes, sir. yes, yes. Yes. So let's understand another theoretical concept today. Most of most of the <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Of the scenarios will not be able to test it on the fiber channel so let's understand theoretically how it works okay i said normally we will have how many controllers in storage two controllers one two storage controller one and storage controller two. Okay. And all these storage controllers will in turn connect with right. In turn connect with what has shelves agree this is what we discussed so far in last few sessions on the back side these shelves are connected to both of them right the connectivity is something mm -hmm. like this we are mute Okay, <clears throat> the backend connectivity is a little tricky that we are not going to discuss here. Okay, but imagine controller one has a connectivity with all the dish shelves. Even controller two also has a connectivity with the, all the dish shelves. And in between both the controllers, there is a connectivity called interconnect. Okay, controller interconnect. What all the protocols that system will support? This system will support SAN and NAS both. Agree? In SAN, we have two. In NAS, yes. we have two. In SAN, it is iSCSI, which we already tested. In SAN, we have fiber channel, which we cannot test it, but I'll explain today in brief also in nas there is a concept called nfs and another concept called cfs okay with respect to our vmware infrastructure or vmware administration part you still need to test nfs and fiber channel <coughs> anyway <coughs> i'm sorry fiber channel you will not be able to test it we'll explain it in theory and tomorrow if time permits we'll test the nfs small topic so that we can do it tomorrow and cafs is just a protocol okay that we will uh, use it for windows uh, file shares that we cannot test it in vmware i mean it is not related to any vmware administration part it's purely windows administration part i can say but in short in short this box can support this box can support all the four protocols Now, I have explained the iSCSI concept and we tested the iSCSI. So, how many variants you have in iSCSI? Speed variants I am talking about. One GBPS, ten GBPS. Perfect. So, remember, 
if I'm if I'm saying one Gbps from here and from here, either one or two or four or ten cables doesn't matter. Okay, from here and from here there must be some one Gb cable that will go out. Imagine the blue ones are one Gb cables. Okay, means these two controllers will support 1 GB speed with these blue cables means normal Ethernet cables can be connected here. Agree? Disagree? Okay, that is first basic thing. 1 GB PS I'll say I. I means Ethernet. 1 GB PS Ethernet. And also, if you want to use 10 Gbps connectivity, as you said, nice Kasi, you should have at least two or minimum four, I'll say, right? Second one, 10 Gbps ice Kasi, which is again over the ethernet over the ethernet means you'll have ip address you'll have communication over the tcp ip agree this is this is basically used for iSCSI based on based on the requirement if you are using 10 gbps there is no point of discussing 1 gbps over iSCSI fair enough or any questions Understood? If I if I am using 10 GB connectivity across the company or across the data center room, what is the point of discussing 1 Gbps? Anyway, I am getting a 10 GB speed over the red cables. Why I will use the blue cables again? Even though if it is there, I will not touch it. Do you agree on this? Yes. Okay. Now these 1 GB <coughs> 1 GB cables is there, no? Okay. They will also connected to some of the switches here in the in the same room they will, they will connect somewhere in the switch like this right and the red ones they have a 10 gb cable switches this goes to a 10 gb switch this goes to a 10 gb switch GB switch right this is 1 GB switch and this is 1 GB switch okay now this storage to these two storage controllers why are this 1 GB they will use they will use for CFS NFS agree or disagree And these red cables, they will use it for iSCSI purpose. Okay. So far, no questions. Now, I have a requirement. I have a requirement. Customer is asking for fiber channel. So again, remember, if I have mentioned iSCSI means you will have a two here and you will have a two here two iSCSI ports or two iSCSI adapters which goes to the same switch or a different switch <coughs> clear okay now let's move on to fiber channel again you'll have two more here two more here the green ones the green ones you call it as green ones what you call it as green ones let me go to hba adapter go to images this is how it looks like HB adapter T 
Tx Rx. Tx Rx. Okay. What is Tx Rx in One. Right? Hold on. Transmit and sorry. Transmit and receive. Send and receive in in a short way. So even if you look at FC cable, you'll have FC cable like this. Normal 10 GB Ethernet cable is something different. Where is I cannot see any 10 GB Ethernet cable here. Okay, let me check the 10 GB proper cables image images. 10 GB cable. Okay, this is one side. This is other side of the cable. You just insert into the switch, right? But when it comes to FC cable, you see this. FC is something like this. So, TX RX. One one cable is for transmitting. Another cable is for receiving the data. Zoom it a little bit. This has two things, and this has two things transmit, see, transmit, receive. Understood? Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Similarly, here, this you call it as HB adapter. The green ones you call it as HB adapters. Okay, so HB adapter. I don't think currently they are selling something, even such results. I don't think it will show up, but it will be a we got something in the picture <clears throat> transfer rate 16 gbps it is like this okay two ports dual port 16 gbps what is the cost look at okay it's not cheap logic 16 GB HB adapter cost is this much maybe if you if you have a premium customer support account with the vendor so I don't know whether it is a less or more okay you might get some discount that that is what I can say right <clears throat> so like this I have four adapters this kind of adapters two here and two here now how the configuration is configuration is something like this it 
this you call it as want to models let's go let's say we'll get a switches like this some of these are if you look at the bottom these are empty slots universal switches okay uh, any any anything storage networking these are empty slots you will get okay empty slots what you have to do you have to you have a ports like this right you'll have ports like this on the switch agree Okay, so in this port, you will get an empty slot. Slot is empty. You will get a port, 48 ports, okay, or 128 ports, whatever. They're based on the 256 ports, based on the configuration and based on the cost, you will get a switch, okay. But that will that will come with empty slots, empty slots. So you need to purchase these kind of devices. SFP modules okay so again <clears throat> here HB adapter I said 16 GBPS so what kind of SFP model we need to purchase 16 GB SFP like this you need to select let's see you see here second line 16 GB software FC SFP 16 GB speed so these kind of devices you need to purchase it one device cost is okay maybe 50 percent discount still is on higher side 250 dollars this one SFP module <clears throat> okay so you need to have sfp modules on this okay sorry boss half i want to use it for fc half i want to use it for iSCSI 10 gb same switch sand switch sand switch means san has two protocols common common switches are available in the market okay universal switches you call it as 10 gb sfp If you look at this is 10 GB SF. Oh no, no, this is not the SFP. This is fiber channel SFP, and this is iSCSI SFP. SFP second line 10 GB. If you look at or look at this. This is this is 10 GB. This is fiber channel. We have a read and write. 10 GB HP 10 GB SFP. This is fiber channel, not the iSCSI. Right? There is a small difference at the notch. Okay. So if you purchase 10 GB Ether uh, SFP modules, you can insert those, and then these ports will act as a iSCSI ports. And if you purchase fiber channel SFP module, FC SFP module. And insert that particular port will act as a fiber channel port that is what the meaning of universal switch universal switch can support both iSCSI and FC based on the SFP module you purchase it agree any questions no, okay now what I have to do I have to take one cable from here and connect here how to take one cable from here connect here similarly I have to take one more cable here connect here one more 
connect cable here and connect here. Same thing, understood? High availability. If something goes wrong, you can still access the data. Let's move that little upside. So what I will do? Imagine I have one VMware cluster. I have one VMware cluster. Also, I have one Windows server. Also, I have one Linux server. All the three Linux, right? Windows, right, and ESXi cluster. Cluster means it has multiple hosts. What I'm talking about is all about a physical service. This is also physical, this is also physical, this is also physical. Cluster has, imagine, n number of hosts. How many number of hosts that cluster can have, boss? 64. 64. Now, in this picture, I'm, I'm just representing only two. Like this, you have 64 in the cluster. So, again, these HBA adapters, you need to purchase. Here as well, you need to have two HBA adapters. Agree or disagree? Yes. Okay, two HP adapters and connecting like this. cable here another cable here okay like this so if I have a n number of servers in the data center one cable should go here one should come here and if I have one more Linux server same thing doesn't matter how many this storage system can support let's say 2000 hosts I have in my data center how many cables that these two switches this should accept thousand cables this should accept thousand cables plus these four cables one two three four that is mandatory right come on any any confusion any confusion no sir now now this is the physical cabling architecture or you call it as blueprint of fiber channel connectivity this is basic block diagram okay you take any big customer or any small customer if you are using fiber channel they should follow this kind of setup irrespective it is 16 gbps or 4 8 or 12 or 10 or 24 or 32 whatever the gbps connection what they have in between the speed will vary but this connection type or connection diagram will not change. Agree on this? Yes. Okay. Now, there is some concept called There is some concept called SAN zoning. Sand zoning. There is a concept called sand zoning. We'll understand what it is quickly. Okay. Now, in iSCSI, to whom we assign the storage? Come on. In iSCSI, to whom we assign the storage? I 
IP address, host name, IQ or MAC address. Yes. yes. Okay. IQ yeah. IQ. Exactly. In in iSCSI, we assign the storage to IQN number that is unique for unique for each host. If I have a 2000 host, I will get 2000 IQN numbers or 4000 IQN numbers if I'm looking at the HBA. Oh, sorry, if I'm looking at the high availability. Agree? Hmm. That is different. Now, so, now in this fiber channel, to whom I will assign the storage? In iSCSI, we are assigning to IQ on number which is unique. In fiber channel also, there must be something unique. Then only it should work. Agree? So what is that unique? Every HBA adapter. Every HBA adapter will have unique address called unique address called WWN worldwide number okay this is unique how it looks like let's see in the pictures at least where WWN let's see images it will be showing like this able to see something yeah. This is the number. This is the hexadecimal number. Okay. Where where you will go and check? If I go to VMware, log into any host. Log into any host. And you can insert, sorry, you can add software iSCSI adapter and you'll see some IQ number will be created, right? On this. This is my main host. Okay, here I have only one one controller which has three devices. One controller which has three devices attached. Three devices is these three. One adapter and which has three devices attached. <coughs> one one TB, another one TB, another 120 GB. Two are SSDs. Okay. Two SSDs, one normal SATA. Okay, Samsung, one TB SSD, and this one some small company. I don't know. I don't Kingston, maybe some something. I don't exactly remember. 120 GB, and this is one TB SATA. Okay. Similarly, if I go to adapters. HBA1 and HBA2 adjust into that here it is something different is showing normally it will show something like this like this device type WW number device devices just like your device only okay and type is if it is iSCSI block SCSI fiber channel it will it will show you that thing and the if it is a fiber channel the unique number under wwn number in if it is iscsi under unique number you will see iqn number understood like this storage adapters like this you will see the numbers It is not clearly showing and you have a command prompt as well like this you can run the commands even in windows server okay you have a commands you can get the wwn numbers linux and windows windows and linux login into those servers you can run the command that will give you output of wwn number okay windows 2016 
you can run command like this what command they run it is not visible here normally if you go to device manager you'll see the WM numbers that's different yeah get initiator port you'll get an output like this FC info is also another command and get initiator port also another command okay so if you can run right yeah if you open a powershell get hyphen is nothing if it is there then definitely you'll get an output okay let me run as admin and see No output, nothing is showing. There is some adapters, fiber channel, iSCSI, you will get an output. Okay, so similarly, you, you will get Linux also. Okay, so for each host, how many WWN numbers will be there? Yeah. For each port, one WWN means yeah. if we have if the server is server is uh, equipped with two W two HB adapters, there will be two WWN numbers, right? How many hosts that cluster can hold? Sixty. Vivek, come closer to the microphone and talk. 64. 60? 64. Sunil, are you getting what he's saying? No. No. I don't know uh, from where you're talking. Hello? Hello? Yeah. In a cluster, no? In a cluster, how many holes that you can keep it? 64 holes. 60? 4. 4. Okay, finally, I am able to hear you. That 4 word I want to heard of it. Okay, that <laughs> is the reason why I am asking you multiple times. And you are speaking like you, you put your microphone in some other room and you are sitting in some other room. No, no, it is uh, near me, but I don't know what is happening. Yeah, you can ask Sunil if you want. It is not the case with me. Even he is also unable to hear you. Okay. So 64 hosts you have in the cluster. How many WWN numbers you will have? Hmm? 64 WWN numbers. 64 into 2, 128. Okay. A little mathematics is required here. At least a little, little, little. Okay, that means you are not concentrating. For one host, Sunil said two WWN numbers will be there. Okay, how many hosts in the cluster? 64 hosts. How many WWN numbers will be there? 128 WWN numbers. Fair enough? You have something to clarify? Yes. Okay, now you can create one learn here agree of 4 tb 4 tb okay now you the aim is this 4 tb learn i want to assign it to all the clusters in the v center sorry all the hosts within the cluster in the v center i can have a multiple clusters by the way not i can create a multiple clusters in v center prod, dev, test, that is what we created, right? But within a cluster, 
you cannot add more than 64 host now i want to assign this 4 tb lun to cluster 1 which is prod which has 64 host so to whom i need to assign to whom i need to assign all the 128 wwn numbers i need to assign then only they can see the lun just like your iscsi what i did i went to each and each and every iqn number rescan iqn number rescan i did it right yes yes okay similarly similarly if you are using fiber channel here you can go to you can go to storage adapters right click rescan right click rescan how many how many wwn numbers you'll have how many hb adapters per host two so on the two host you have to rescan it sorry two adapters you have to rescan it agree so in short i need to assign i need to assign 128 wwn numbers for this it is really hard for storage storage administrator to assign individual wwn number to how many how many wwm members he'll uh, sit and add it so the zoning is helping in such a way you create two zones by two zones on switch one one zone on switch two another zone two zones and give the same name logical name can i can i give a logical name give some logical name and under the logical name create a two zones one zone is on switch one another zone is on switch two possible yes. okay how to do that i'll show you the picture you can watch this video on youtube i'll ping you this one they will explain how we can do this one what create alias create a zone zone config activate zone means logical boundary alias means soft name and zone config create it and attach to alias and activate that's it okay i'll ping you this video that will help you go back and if you look at this picture you will see this window how you access this window very simple this switch has one ip even this switch has another ip even though they are fiber channel in fiber channel there is no ip is nothing okay remember in fiber channel protocol you no need to assign any ip address or nothing everything over wwn number only remember okay but someone as a network admin as a storage admin he has to access the stand sand storage switches right those switches he need to access it how he will access it over the ip only so for the entire box there will be one ip agree or disagree yes okay you take that ip put it on the browser you will get this window okay in in that if i log in into switch one how many wwn numbers i will see switch one how many wn numbers in switch one <clears throat> from each host one cable will go to switch one means how many host in the cluster 64 how many cables connected to the switch one 64 okay 64 in switch two Leave about these windows and uh, Linux. I don't want to confuse more. 64. 64. Okay. From controller one, how many cables onto switch one? Controller one. Switch one, it's 16. Uh, it is one cable. One cable. From controller two, how many cables onto switch one? One cable. One cable. And uh, from switch two, uh, sorry, from controller one, how many cables to switch to? One. 
from controller to how many cables one now tell me how many wwn numbers that switch can see this 64 and this and this these two also having the wwn number right yes 66 understood S concentrate and put some logic on your mind understood yes yes okay so create a boundary and create login into second switch create a boundary give alias name alias name means give some name that's it okay and add this and this boundary to this name this name visible on the GUI of the storage system storage system has some GUI web browser window in that web browser create a learn next uh, select the size 4 TB next uh, assign to assign it to this name this name will be visible on the screen okay and assign it to this next next finish then so this 4 TB is assigned to this name and this name has a uh, two boundaries and it can travel like this and it can travel so every every host can see this for tb and you, what you have to do you have to rescan the adapter now no need to configure anything anything on the vmware side everything will be done on storage side only it's purely storage admin storage admin task 90 percent of work is storage admin task in fiber channel 90 percent work is storage admin task your duty is put a put the w double numbers into one excel okay 64 host host 1 hba1 hba2 host 2 hba1 hba2 host 3 hba1 hba2 that's it and on the next tab on the next tab put storage requirement i need five lens of 4 tb each 5 into 4 20 tb is the storage i require send a sheet to storage admin along with the ticket number you need to open a ticket right or you need to open some project if you are doing for new implementation okay give it to storage admin what he will do he will he will open that sheet he will log in into the both the switches and he will create a zones and he will log in into storage system and he will create the lens and assign it to the same logical name and he will send an email to you saying i'm done please check as a vmware admin what do you have to do you have to log in into the vCenter and rescan all the HVA adapters. Rescan all the HV adapters. Automatically, you will see raw device, five raw devices here. Five raw devices means five into four. 20 TB is showing here. Same thing here and same thing here and same thing on the last host as well in the cluster. Understood? Just like what we did in the iSCSI. Learn 10, 20, 30. It is, those things are visible in all the host. Similarly, in real time, if you are using fiber channel, okay, whatever the storage that you requested, the same storage will be shown in the all ESXA host within the cluster. Fair enough? Understood? Once the raw device, is, raw device is visible, you know what to do. Right click, format, create a data store, use it. Okay. Once you create a data store, that same data store is visible in all 64 hosts with the same name. Learn 10, 20, 30. We created three data stores. All the three data stores are visible in host 1, 2, 3 or not. It is visible, right? With the same name. Yes. Yes. Similar. Similarly, if you create five data stores, data store one, data store two, data store three, data store four, data store five, in this host, same data stores visible here and the same data stores on the last host within the cluster. It is visible. The, all the data stores are visible in all the host within a cluster. Clear? Yes. Okay. This is how you will configure and this is how the backend connectivity is and this is how you have to request for a storage when you are using fiber channel practically we will we will not be able to implement this in our lab because of the limitations but the procedure is more of similar what i have explained and also the configuration part is more of similar what we did in the iscsi 
clear? Any questions on this? No. No, yes. No. Okay. So let me stop here.